I was so ready to play. I don't think I showed you. <laughs> I don't think I showed you guys the palette. This is, oh God, Barbara. This is what the palette looks like. So, oh yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm tripping. If I can find my freaking brush. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for tuning in. My name's Barbara and today I'm going to be doing a two for one kind of bonus video for you guys where I will be showing you a review and doing a wear test with the Uoma Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And I will also be showing you my thoughts and how I got this look using the Pure Defense Anti-Pollution Eyeshadow Palette. Now, you're already here. Go ahead and subscribe and turn your notification bell so you know when I upload and become a part of the family. I upload twice a week and I'm excited to show you guys new makeup tips, tricks, reviews, and hauls because your girl does a lot of shopping. I'm not going to hold you any longer. If you want to see how I got this look, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right guys, I went ahead and did my eyebrows first. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I already primed my face. I use my Becca Skin Love Blur and Brighten Primer. This is what this looks like. I have been absolutely loving this primer. I use this and then you already know, I go in with my Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer in my pore area and on these forehead wrinkles that have been trying to play me. Filming in 4K will tell all your secrets. Like, <laughs> I look at my videos when I'm editing and I'm like, oh, why? We're going to drop down the quality and I'm like, no, be transparent. It is what it is. Not everybody has flawless skin. We have two products that we are focusing on today. The first one is this Uoma Beauty Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. Now, I remember when I showed you guys this from my haul, I was like, how sway? How do you have soft matte and hydrating together? I was just like, you know what? We're going to go with it. We're going to see. I had trouble finding my shade in this. And to be honest, I don't even know if this is my shade. But we're going to see. Y'all know I find a way to finesse it and make it work. So I'm not too worried about that. This says that it's adjustable coverage. And it says for medium coverage, use sparsely. For full coverage, use generously. For extreme coverage, apply multiple layers. We know that I always apply my foundation with a brush. So I'm going to do this like I always do and apply it with a brush. And then probably go back over it with my sponge. This is what the packaging looks like. I am in the shade Bronze Venus T -N -T T2N. This is what the foundation looks like. It is... Oh, is it running? No, not running. Pretty thick. We're going to start off with one pump. I feel like every review I watched of this, it looked so orange on everybody. And they were just like, whoa. And then they started working it in and it looked better. So hopefully that is the case because I don't feel like the shade descriptions were really good at all with helping you pick. Like this is supposed to be neutral and... I don't know what neutralist them. Definitely feel like I'm gonna have to bring this down my neck some. I don't, hmm, let me finish first. I feel like, I don't know if it's just this brush or what, but I feel like it's not like gliding over my primer like it normally does, like my other foundations do. And it could just be because this is a little more matte and I haven't been wearing matte foundations. So maybe I need to apply it in sections. So this is one pump and I'm just trying to like really work this in so it doesn't look crazy. But the thing is, if I add more pumps, then it's gonna look crazy. So, so this is one pump. This is like dry already. Oh, this makes me nervous cause it's gonna be super matte. It says hydrating too, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna count it out yet. All right, so I am definitely going to put another pump on because as you can see, you can still see my dark spots. Well, this is more like a half a pump because I don't think that's as much as what came out earlier. And I'm just gonna put this, well, I'm gonna put it in a problem area first and work it and see if that makes it apply a little smoother. 
like it says, she is definitely buildable. All right, so you see that's a little better coverage, but girl, look how orange. Oh, Lord. I still have a little bit on my finger. I'll just use the rest of this. All right, so this is where we are with the foundation. Um, Color-wise, <laughs> y'all see it. I don't know. I mean, I guess it says it mimics. So maybe when it eventually, like, it's set, though. It's not moving. Like, this is not, this feels like it's dried down already. So we're just going to go with it. I'm going to conceal with my Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. You guys saw me haul this a few hauls ago. Who knows? And I got the shade number eight. I really do like the tone of this one. And I like the coverage of it and I like the consistency of it. So I've only swatched it for you guys that one time and then it's just been kind of sitting. I've been using a lot of drugstore stuff. So pretty sure I think everything that I pulled to use today is going to be high end. Give this luxury stuff some love. I like this concealer because it doesn't dry down too fast. Something I put on the other day dried. Oh, I have a video that I posted using new Makeup Revolution stuff and that concealer dried down so fast that I was like, whoa, I don't know if I can blend this out. All right, for setting powder for my face, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I have really fallen back in love with this. I was just like, oh, let me try to use it up and hurry up and be done with it, but I'm realizing now how much I'm really liking it again. And I'm like, well, wait, do I want to use it up and be done with it? Or do I want to use it up and get another one? I am going to add a little extra of this under my eyes just to use as a precaution because I am using a new eyeshadow palette and I don't know how it's going to work. So definitely don't want to have to worry about fallout we're gonna see how this foundation sets down but as of right now I don't think I'm gonna use a powder to set my face I'm just gonna leave it as is and see how that looks now for my favorite part so the eyeshadow palette that I'm using today is this pure defense anti-pollution eyeshadow palette this is what the palette looks like I've eyeballed this for a while and I had a coupon for Ulta and so I was just like I don't have any pure eyeshadow palettes and this one looked more like the shade range that I prefer so I was like let me just grab it this is what the packaging looks like and you can see it kind of has the smog looking fog in the background so I thought that was kind of cool this is what the colors look like so as you can see, pretty warm, neutrals, eh, kind of fallish maybe. We can definitely come up with a fall look with this. It does say 12 piece anti-pollution eyeshadow palette. It locks in enviable looks while helping to protect skin against environmental stressors like pollution. Rich in pigment, these shamelessly bold, easy to blend shadows instantly bring drama and attention to the eye look with matte shimmer and satin finishes. Escape the age accelerating effects of pollution with a palette that can help protect your skin while taking your look from day to night. Y'all think that's true? I have never heard <laughs> I mean, it sounds kind of gimmicky, but I guess whatever sells products, I don't know. So I'm going to prime my eyes first with my NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Base, and I got Medium. And then I'm just going to set over that very, very lightly with my Laura Mercier Powder brush over it with my powder brush. All right, the first shade in the palette, there are no shade names, so I gotta look at the box. The first shade I'm going to use is Shield, which is this shade up here. 
And I'm going to put that in the crease. This is a matte, and there is a little kick up in the pan. Good pigment so far. Blending really well. I'm gonna do a bit of a smokier look today. So I'm going to take the shade Mother Nature which is this shade down this shade down here we're gonna put that all over the lid oh it definitely picks up a lot and i'm just gonna pack that on I do have some fallout with this shade and I'm trying to just pack it on and not swipe to avoid it, but there is still a little bit. All right, so next with a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Dusk. I just want to see if there's a big difference with this shade up here in the corner around the edge to blend those two. Oh yeah, that's pretty. You see how it kind of blends them in together instead of just this harsh line I have here. And then I'm going to take my fluffy brush again and just go back around the edges. And then just to see how the black looks, I'm going to take a little bit of that and just smudge it above my lash line. And then I'm going to go back in the shade that I used on the lid, which was Mother Nature, and just kind of pack that right above just to further blend. I like how that looks. The colors are blending very well together. I will say they're not, like it says they're extremely pigmented. I don't know about that because I feel like I've had to dip back into here quite a few times to get the colors that I have right now which is not something that I'm used to having to do, but they're very pretty. And then I'm gonna go back with the black just in the outer V, just a little bit. That black is pigmented, I ain't mad at that. And then I'm gonna go back with Dusk, the color that we blended, and just smooth out there. I really like how these colors play together. This is working out really well. Pleasantly surprised. But as you can see, I have a lot of fallout on my face. All right, I'm going to stop right here with the eyeshadow look. I'm going to swatch a few of the other colors for you guys just so you can see what the palette looks like. Um, I'm going to swatch the silver. This one's called Skyline. I'm going to swatch the purple. That one's Haze. And then I'm going to swatch City Limits and Golden Hour. So these are what the shades look like and then swatched on the back of my hand. This one is Skyline. This is the Purple Haze. This is City Limits. And then this is Golden Hour. I thought that silver was gonna be more silver, but it's almost like a smoky gray blue. I don't know. I kinda wish I would've used that on my lid. I'm just gonna take 
the brush that I normally use to set my under eye and see. I'm glad I put that powder because at first I wasn't going to, but yeah, we would have been in trouble. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my bottom lash line now. I'm going to use the black, which is called Alert, and I'm just going to do the outer part first. And then I'm going to go back with Mother Nature, which is the color we put on the lid. And I'm going to smoke out a little bit underneath that. I'm going to swatch this color Mother Nature for y'all. It's weird because in the pan, it looks a little green. But it also looks like it has a bit of a red undertone to it. Is that the right one? No, it's this one, sorry. It almost looks purple. So that's the shade there. It's an interesting shade. I'm very surprised at this palette. It looks a lot more plain than how it applies. I just have to see what this color looks like. This is the shade Dawn. I should have just swatched them all while I was at it. Ooh, that is pretty. That's Dawn right there. It makes me want to use it. Oh, I should have swatched them first. That's all right. We like the look that we have. I just get excited about other colors. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and put that on the bottom lash line. Why not? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch all of them so that you can really see what it looks like and decide if it's something that you're interested in because these colors, I don't feel like they look like what they look like in the pan. So... I'm just going to go ahead and do finger swatches real quick. All right, the first shade in the palette is called Overcast, which is this shade right here. So this is what it looks like right here. The second shade is called Purity, which is this one here, which also looks like a matte. So that's this one here. Shield is the shade that I started with on my crease so that's that one there then dusk i also used which is this one here then i just showed you skyline which is this one here then city limits which is this one here golden hour is here And then flashing lights, I did not swatch, which is this shade here. Ooh, that looks pretty. I'll show you what the black swatch is like, but you saw that one on my lid. That is dark. That's the black. And then all the rest of the shades you saw, the purple is Haze, which is here. Mother Nature, which is here. And then Dawn, which is here. Sorry, I was being stingy with the swatches. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. I believe I've used this in a recent video, but I'm going to use my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. This is in the shade medium to deep. I don't feel like the foundation is as orange as it was. Is it just me? I mean, it's still a little off, but it's not horrible. Like when I first applied it, it was like, there is no way that it's going to match at all. And now it's like, mm, okay, that's not that bad. I don't know if it's just from my primer or if it's actually the foundation, but I do see a very slight sheen in some areas. I think it's the foundation. Just interesting. For bronzer, I'm gonna use this Take Home the Bronze Anti-Orange Bronzer. This is from the Balm. I've had this for a while because I found it on sale at Kohl's, I think. 
but I never used it. Does anybody even wear the balm anymore? Like, comment and let me know if you guys have any products that you like from the balm. I swatched this and I was like, hey, no way this is going to work doing anything for me. But let's see. I think it's just because it's not as red as what I'm normally used to using, but I don't think it's bad. All right, for blush today, we have some options. I placed an order online at Milani, and I didn't want to save these products to do like a whole part of a haul. I probably could have, but I want to use it right now. So I picked up their two new blushes that they have. I love their baked blushes. And they haven't had any new shades in a while. So I was excited to see these. I think I had a coupon. I'm sure I had a coupon because I don't pay full price if I can avoid it. Especially for something that I just want to try. So this is the shade Coco Felicita. So this is like a very kind of bronzy berry color. And I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Ooh, I think this is going to be pretty... This is right up my alley. This is what the shade looks like, which I think would look perfect with this look. So we're gonna put that off to the side. And then I also picked up the other shade that is called Sunrise Senorita. Senorita. This one I think is more of a spring summer color. It's this orange. It looks like it has a bit of a sheen to it. Ooh, that's orange yeah girl that's orange okay and then I also picked up their cheek kiss liquid blush and this one is in the shade wine glow so it comes in this little tube I've been really liking cream blushes lately I've been wearing one from Mary Kay this is what the shade looks like here on my finger and then this is what the color looks like up here. And then I also ordered the Sultry palette, the Soft and Sultry palette. That was the main reason for my order because I wanted a cool tone palette. And with the order, I also got a sample size of Luminoso, which is like a cult favorite for lighter complexions, not for us. As you can see why, that is a blush. So if you're of a lighter complexion, this is one of their OGs, very pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the liquid blush and then go over it with Coco Felicita. Oh, first impressions, trying new stuff. Let's see. Oh, that's not bad. It's not coming off as dark as I thought it would. So I'm just gonna press that into the skin that is pretty. It's not like, I thought it was gonna be darker than this, just based on how it's swatched, but this is not that dark at all. So if you're scared to try liquid blushes, then this might be a good option because it doesn't come off too crazy, but you still get some pigmentation. I'm gonna go over this with Coco Felicita just to see. Oh, a lot picks up. Oh, that is so pretty. Look how shiny. Not shiny, but it has a nice sheen. On top of the liquid blush too. And now we have gone overboard. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blush. But look. Okay, slow your roll. I'm going to take my powder brush that I swept away earlier and just go around the edges with that to kind of dampen it down some. Y'all know I like blush, so I ain't taking away too much of the color. But I think that color goes really well with the eyeshadow look. All right, and then for highlighter, I'm going to go in with my Pat McGrath trio i haven't worn this since i tried it on for you guys i am going to use the shade 
We're just gonna go with bronze nectar. I like the sheen that I'm getting from the blush and I don't wanna overpower that too much. So we're just gonna add a little bit of that. I'm gonna take a little bit of fine gold because I'm extra and I wanna amp it up like that. All right, that's it for highlighter because I'm not trying to go <laughs> not trying to go too overboard. I mean, it's still overboard because come on now, we're talking about me, but I think that's good. For lips, I'm going to use my Pat McGrath Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil and this is in the shade Ground Control. So it is a brown. If you guys can see that, Whoa. This is definitely a gel and it comes off a lot. And then I'm gonna go in with this Minted Dark Night Matte Lipstick. And this is what the shade looks like. It is a very pretty, deep, it's a brown, like a little bit of a red to it, but She is brown. Ooh, I like it. That is so pretty. I'm gonna put a gloss just because it is matte and I don't want my lips to look too dry. So for gloss, actually, I'm gonna do something. This says it's a liquid blush, but we're gonna put it on our lips. I'm gonna take that Wine Glow blush and I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to my lips. I like how that looks a lot. All right, for eyes, I really don't have anything new that I'm trying right now. So I'm just gonna use my, the Balm Schwing Liner and I'm going to put on my Fenty Mascara. And then I am going to use my Nikia Joy Cosmetics Lashes today. Not sure which pair I'm gonna use yet, but this is what the lashes look like. There's five different pairs. This is her naked set. I'm leaning towards either this pair, which I have worn before, or this pair here. Mainly because I just don't wanna overpower my eyes too much. So I'll let y'all know which one I use, but I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll be back. All right guys, everything is done. I have my lashes on, have my liner done. This came out so dramatic and so smoky and I absolutely love it. I decided to go with the third pair, which is the ones that I showed you. I, if this is the naked set, I have the glamour set and I have not worn it yet, but this feels like a big lash to me. I love it. I mean, I don't feel like it's too much that it covers the eyeshadow, but this is beautiful I am very pleasantly surprised with how this eyeshadow palette turned out and like I said I've been looking at it for months pretty much since it came out and I was like Barbara it's another warm palette you don't need it do not do this to yourself you're not getting it and then I had a coupon so I'll, I don't like having anxiety about something that I want when I'm just like just get it and then you'll have it and it's off your mind versus thinking about it all the time so if you like warm tone shadows, I like the texture of these. I like how the colors look a lot different than what they show here. And I think that's the thing with me and eyeshadow. Anything that'll be different to add to my collection, I absolutely love it and I want it. So this is a banger, I am keeping it. As far as this foundation goes, I'm looking in my viewfinder and I feel like it's a little, you know what, I'm going to add a little bit of translucent powder on it just to see if I can help kind of cool it off some. I just feel like it's like super red around the edges, but I think with my contour and my bronzer and everything that kind of helped balance it out, but just around here. So we'll see. I'm going to wear this all day today. I did get a bit of a late start right now. 
I don't know when I started this. I think it was about 10 30 ish. Oh, 9 45. Okay. So right now it has taken me forever, but it is 11 33. I'm going to keep this on all day. I do have some errands to run. So we will see how it holds up with a mask on. Hopefully this foundation wears well with my dry skin and that is it. All right, guys, I am back. I was going to do a check in during the day, but I was ripping and running too much. And right now it is 1038. So I have had this foundation on for over 11 hours because remember I showed you I started at 945 and then I was playing an eyeshadow and everything. I finished around 11. So this is what we have. I had a doctor's appointment today. I went to go get a checkup for, it's been three months with my Accutane. My doctor is really happy with the progress that I've made and she thinks I'll be done at the six month mark. She said some people go to five, but she wants to go to six just because I've struggled with it for so long. And that will help guarantee that the acne doesn't come back. I do not want another round of this. The only thing I will say I feel like, I don't know, like the eyeshadow, I feel like the color didn't last as vibrant. I'll come in so you guys can see. I just, I don't know. I feel like for as dark of a look as I tried to do, I just don't feel like, I don't know. I mean, it's still there. Maybe I need to try it with a different primer, but I just feel like for the amount of fallout I had, Maybe that's why. I also got worked on by my massage therapist today. So you can see like I was crying. Not really, but eyes were watering. And so I've been touching. Eyes were itching. But yeah, this is where we are 11 hours later. I have been kind of messing with my face a little bit. But everything's still there. Like you still see my highlighter. You still see my blush. I don't feel overly dry. I don't feel like much is transferring either. Like I said, I had a mask on today and I, I, I'm impressed. The color has cooled off some, so you can see. Remember how orange I was earlier? I don't feel like that's as bad. Overall, I think I'm definitely keeping the foundation and I think it'll be great with me having skin that's not as oily, but this will still keep me matte during the summer. I don't think I'm gonna wear it for winter because I do feel like my face is dry. I didn't set it that much with powder. I didn't spray any setting spray, nothing, and it hasn't gone anywhere. I'm on the fence about the palette. I'm going to try this again with a different primer. I mean, I use primer this time and not concealer, so I thought that would make a difference, but I'm gonna play with it again. I'm gonna update the description box and let you guys know my thoughts. If you've been thinking about picking up the Uoma Beauty Say What Foundation, give it a try. I know they're not doing samples right now, but you can always bring stuff back. So don't let that deter you. Color match is a little scary because as you saw, when you try almost all of them, they look orange like that. But then everything settles down. Find your shade. Again, mine is T2N Bronze Venus. If you wear any other shades that I have matched with, give that one a try. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video, guys. Again, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. I post videos twice a week, fitness related occasionally, but mostly beauty. So if that's what you're into, join the family. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.